Welcome to another informative video on life in Germany. Today's video is about the latest news, the latest legal regulations on life in Germany that concerns you as an expat, you as a foreigner in Germany, and things that you should just be aware of, okay? The Phoebe way of this channel is all about making life in Germany easier for you as an expat and to point you out, or to point out um, benefits, advantages, and everything that you would need to know, all right? So, we're already in the month of October, as you can see. Oh, you can see my pumpkin is up there. <laughs> Today, last Sunday in um, October, we are going to talk about the latest things that have happened in the month of October and that have come on laws that have come into force. So, without further ado, let's just start with this one. People who are not vaccinated, okay, have to pay for the rapid test themselves. With a few exemptions, people below the age of 18 years, people who cannot be vaccinated because of medical reasons, they are some of the exemptions. But if you are not vaccinated, you have to be paying for the rapid test for yourself, by yourself, as from the 11th of October. So by that time, it's already been put to four, into force. So that is one um, thing that is new since October. Another thing that has to do with um, the vaccination or with corona is also that if you are not vaccinated and you've had contact with an infected person and because of that you have to go into quarantine you are no more eligible to pay um, or to be paid by your employer that is also something new but if you yourself have the virus if you yourself have tested positive you are still eligible so uh, eligible to get your um, sick pay but you are not more eligible for your sick pay if you are um, not vaccinated and you had contact with somebody who has contracted the virus but if you yourself contract the virus you are still eligible regardless of your vaccination status all right still talking about people who are sick or sick leave and all of that so Usually, if you are sick, you go to the hospital or to the doctor, and then the doctor would give you the Arbeitsunfähigkeitsbescheinigung, those yellow papers or pinkish, depends on um, what it was. But this um, paper, you take one to your employer, you keep one for yourself, and you take one to your insurer, right? Now, the one that has, be, has to be taken to the insurer by yourself, you don't have to do that anymore because your doctor is going to digitally transmit um, this um, Arbeitsunfähigkeitsbescheinigung to your insurer directly, so you don't have to do that anymore. And as of as from July 2022, the employer would also be involved in the system, so you don't have to tell or you don't have to send anything to your employer. You don't have to, with your sick self, go to the post office to post it or have someone take it to your to your boss. No, you just stay back, keep on being sick. I mean, take care of yourself and your sick mood. Not being, keep on being sick, but you get what I mean. As from July 2022, you don't have to be the one taking them to um, your employer and to your insurer. But now, your Kraken physician won't, will be notified or will have the details from your doctor directly, okay? Digitally transmitted electronic. That is another thing you should know. And now let's get away from the health thing. Now, the government is seeking to protect consumers more, especially when it comes to debt collection. So, in Kassel, so the new in Kassel Recht or the in Kassel, um, I mean, the debt collection law, it says that if somebody is owing um, less than or up to 50 euros, the in Kassel companies cannot charge you more than 18 euros. If the person is owing up to 500 euros, the fees cannot be more than 30 euros because sometimes the incasso fees are really close to what you have to pay and sometimes I feel like they are so eager to step in and all of that but now you are being more protected so those fees that those um, incasso or um, debt collection fees they have been lowered now they have been lowered and have been capped by the um, legislative or by the but they have been capped by the law okay so that is one thing you should know as well what else is new that should um, you should know? Yes, um, if you are also um, vaccinated, if you had Johnson & Johnson, I have been informed that, because I had Johnson & Johnson, that I have to get my booster shot pretty soon. So if you had Johnson & Johnson, look into it, get in touch with your doctor and see how you can get your second shot. And even people who had BioNTech 
would also have to check when they can get their third shot, their booster shot, because the um, effect is declining, as in like the um, immunization effect is declining or the protection is de will decline with time, over time. So with Johnson & Johnson, it goes even um, faster. So with that, please look into that as well. If you had Johnson & Johnson, make sure that you get your third, um, I mean your second um, shot and I'll be doing mine. So that's that. Let's add that to the health one. And then, in the tax collection video, I talked to you guys about the deadline for tax submission. Um, November is almost here, so let's say by latest by 2nd November, as latest by the next um, working day. So actually by the 31st of October, it was extended to the 31st of October, you should have submitted it and the next working day will be, I think, the 2nd of November. So make sure that your taxes are submitted by that time, your tax declaration or your tax are filed by that time. And if you have a tax um, advisor who is helping you, then you have time until the 31st of May of next year. Now, another thing is that you should know that October is Austin. I'm talking about your winter tires. Have you, have, have you had them changed yet? So if you have not changed your winter tires, this is the call for you to have them changed before you go into some kind of police um, stop or in inspection and your tires are still summertized or you're surprised by snow this year and you cannot drive because your tires are still summertized. So please look into that and make sure that you have the right tires for the winter period that is coming. These are some of the new laws, administrative regulations that have come into effect in the month of October 2021. If you have any questions, I'm going to leave some of the links um, that talk about these topics in the description box as well. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment down below and guys, take care of yourselves, stay positive, stay hopeful and see you same time next Sunday. I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.